In an attempt to ease the suffering of the Palestinian people in besieged Gaza, international NGOs such as the United Nations Relief and Works Agency for Palestine Refugees, UNRWA, provide relief and development aid to those in need. The UN agency announced that it has developed a plan to build 10,000 houses for those who lost their homes during Israeli attacks. In addition to 100 schools, the construction of projects will last at least three years, but the frequent closure of Karm Abu Salim crossing, Gaza's only commercial crossing, will affect its progress. Create also millions of working days to those who are, don't have work here in the, in the Gaza Strip. Also, it will activate the Palestinian economy inside the, the Gaza Strip. Uh, the project will include also building 100 schools on all over uh, Gaza Strip because uh, the schools here in Gaza are very crowded. Since the siege came into effect in 2007, Israel has restricted the flow of goods, such as construction and raw materials, and this has frozen many projects worth hundreds of millions of dollars. Restrictions imposed on Gaza by Israel have also hampered the work of international and local NGOs in the blockaded coastal territory. The blockade must be lifted in order to allow the Gazan economy to flourish. The siege has caused unemployment rates to surge. Israel had continued to impose a tight siege on the occupied Palestinian territories, especially Gaza, and imposed severe restrictions on the movement of Palestinian civilians in the Gaza Strip. In light of the bad economic situation in Gaza under the ongoing siege, economic experts say that such projects will create tens of thousands of jobs. Yusuf Al-Hello, Press TV, Gaza.